Hi everybody, today I will show you how to design contact form 7 in WordPress. So let's just begin. Alright, so to design the contact form 7, first of all what we have to do, we have to go inside the plugins and click on the add new plugin and here we have to search for contact form. Okay, so as you can see here, we are having contact form 7 at the top of the search and we have already installed and activated this. So after this, what we have to do, we have to install one more plugin, which is actually HT Mega. Okay. So we're going to write down HT Mega here. And now you'll be able to see HT Mega Absolute Add-ons for Elementor at the top of the search. Okay. So we have to install this and activate this as well. So as you can see this, we have already done that part. Now, after installing Contact Form 7, you will be able to see Contact option here in the sidebar. Okay. So now you have to click on this one into the Contact Forms. So in the Contact Forms, one form is already created, a kind of a default form or the sample form which you can use. And if you wanted to create a new form, you can simply do this from here by clicking Add New. Okay. But we're going to use this form that is already created for us. So we're going to simply click on edit. And here you'll be able to see the form here. We are having name here. We are having email here and the subject and the phone number. And after that, we are having your message as well. And in the last, we are having the submit button. But what if, if I wanted to add anything from my own side? Okay, so how can we do this? So I'm going to add the radio buttons here. So let's click on the radio buttons. And here what we have to do, we have to add one option at a time. So in the radio button, we can ask for a gender. So let's say we're going to have male here. Then we're going to have female. And we can also have one more option. The check post last. And, and after this, we are having the option to put our label first and the checkbox at last. So we're going to check this. All right. And after this, you can see you have the option of ID attribute and the class attribute. So if you wanted to add the ID attribute or the class attribute to your radio button, you can simply do this from here. And also at the top, we will actually change the name here. So this is going to be, let's say gender. And now let's just click on the insert tag here. You can see this, it has generated everything for us. So now we're going to simply cut this from here because I want to put this in the middle. So this will be here, uh, let's say after the email. All right. Okay. So I have also moved the label name here. So I'm going to simply cut this from here and I'm going to put this at the top. Okay. So here, what we have to do, if I wanted to add the label to this, so how can you do this? I'm going to simply copy the label from here and I will simply put this here and I'm going to put this, the ending there as well. Let's just put it here. And here you can simply define your gender as well. Okay. And similarly, if you wanted to have the text field, you can have the text field in the similar way. So if I just click on the text here, you can see this. We can have this field as a required field. So let's click on the required field. And here we can ask for the profession or something like this. All right. And here you can also add the default value here if you want to, or if you want to add the placeholder text you can also do this so i'm going to add the placeholder text here so i'm going to write down write your profession and similarly you can add the id attribute and the class attribute if you want to so let's click on the insert tag perfect so now what we have to do i'm going to simply cut this from here and then we're going to put this after the previous field so here we just have to copy the label from here copy the label Put it here and also from here. All right. And here we can change the value to profession. Okay. So similarly, I'm going to do one more thing here. I also want to add the placeholder text to my first field, which is the name. So I'm going to simply put this here. All right. So now let's click on save. All right. So in here, I have done a mistake here. So I actually would need to remove the label from here. And I need to put this here. Okay, so since in the radio button, we are actually having the multiple options. So that is why it is causing us the error here. So let's click on save now. And in the similar way, you can add any field to this. Okay, so now we're going to go inside the mail. So in the mail, you can see this. You can also edit this format if you want to. And after this, we have the messages. 
So if you want to change the messages for the different kind of the situations here, you can also do this from here. Okay, so you can see this, we are having a lot of the different messages here for the different situations. And after this, we are having the additional settings where you can add your customized course in the if you want to, but we don't need this right now. So we're going to simply save this again. And from here, I'll just simply copy our form. And now I'm going to go inside the pages and click on the add new page. So here, let's just write down the name of the page is contact form sample. So let's click on add it with Elementor. All right. So now how can we add our form here? So the basic method or the first method of doing is that we can just write down the short code here. And now in here, I actually have to paste the short code that I have copied from here. Okay. So let's copy this again. And here we got simply paste this. And now you will be able to see our form here. Okay. So I've done a mistake here on the first name. So I'm going to go back here and I just click on the forms again. And I actually have to add the double quotation here. Let's just save this again. All right. So now if I just rephrase this. Okay. So now let's just paste the short code again. Now you will be able to see our form here. Okay. So the form is looking great here. And as you can see here, we have all the things that we have added into our form and we can add the heading here. So let's go inside here. Let's just add the heading at the top. Perfect. So this will be, let's say our form here or contact form seven or something like this. Okay. So now we have one problem with this form. We cannot actually change the styling of this form. So that is why we have installed the second plugin, which was ST Mega. So the reason for that was because ST Mega offers us contact form seven widget in which we can actually customize the design of our contact form. Okay. So how can we use this? I'm going to add one more heading here. All right. And this will be contact form. And here I'm going to write down ST Mega. Okay, so that you can differentiate here. And after that, we can search here contact form seven here. Okay, so we can simply drag this and drop this here. And we have to select the form. So right now we only have contact form one. So we can simply select this. And now you'll be able to see that our form is looking different from our previous form here. Okay, you can see here the design is pretty different here. So with the help of contact form widget here, you actually have the six different styles. So if you want to go here with the second one, you can go here with the second one. If you want to go here with the third one, you can go here with the third one. And if you want to go here with the style four here, you can also go with a style four here. If you want to go with the five, you can see this is how the five is looking. And if you want to go with the six, this is how the six is looking. But now I'm going to go here with style five. Okay. So now what I have to do, I'm going to go inside the style. And here you can see this, we are having the different options in which we can do our styling of our form. So the first one is a form wrapper style. So the first thing that I have to do is to put the alignment of the text to the left side. And then we can also add the background color as well if you want to do, but I would actually skip this, but I'm going to add the padding here. So we're going to go here with 20 PX or we can go here with the 30 PX. I think the 30 PX is looking better. And after this, we have the margin. So if you want to add the margin, you can simply do this from here and we're going to go inside the input. So in the input, the first option that we have is the height. So if I wanted to increase the height of the input, you can see the change in the height of our input. Okay. But I'm going to go here with the default value, which is actually 55 PX, I guess. Okay. And after this, we have the background color. Okay. So here, if I wanted to change the background color of our input, we can do this from here. So let's click on the color here. So I'm going to go here with the light blue color. Okay. So I think I would actually go here with, let's say this one. Yeah, this is looking better. And after this, I'm going to change the place holder color here. Okay. So let's go here with the blue color as well. All right. So I think I'm going to go here with this one. Okay. So this is looking fine now. And after this, let's just add the border radius. So that will be five PX. And we can also add the padding and the margin as well, but let's just skip this right now. And then we have the text area. So in the text area, I would actually copy the background color of our input. 
so let's just copy the color from here and let's just go inside our text area and let's just change the background color of this okay so similarly if you have the placeholder text here you can also change the placeholder color here as well and here i'm going to change the border radius perfect and after this we have the padding in the margin and now let's just go into the labels so in the labels you also have the background color text color and typography so you can actually change anything from here so i'm going to go inside the typography and let's just change the weight here to the thin or i think i'm going to go here with 200 maybe let's just go here with the 300 yes we're going to go here with the 300 and after this you can also explore the other options here and then let's just go inside the button so in the button what we're going to do here we're going to actually change the background color so this will be dark blue color here okay so we're going to go here with the dark blue color here or i think this one all right so we're going to go here with this one and on the text color we're going to actually use the background color of our input so let's copy this and we're going to go back here into the button let's just change the text color here and now this is looking good okay and here we're going to add the border radius so that will be the 5px and also we can change the width of our button so i'm going to change the width of our button okay so this is how you can change the width of the button so if you want to increase this by percentage you can also do this so let's just write down 100 here and you can see here this is occupying all the space and i think i'm going to go here with this one all right and in the last we are having errors and the feedback style so if you want to change the color of the errors or the feedbacks that you're going to get in our form you can also do this from here so right now we're going to simply publish this and let's click on have a look and this is how you can design the contact form in the wordpress so you can see here this is the first one the default one that we have in the contact form 7 but if we use this with the ht mega we can actually customize the design here and this is how our customized design is looking so this is how we can design our contact form 7 in the wordpress so if you really find this video useful hit the like button and subscribe to the channel